Hello there, I'm Andy Crane. Welcome to The People's Jury, a brand new show that puts both sides of a new story on trial. So here on People's Jury, we'll tackle the stories that make you shout at the TV, the ones that make you post angry comments on Facebook or rage on Twitter. In our courtroom, our studio audience will watch a film about and discuss the pros and cons of each story. Then our People's Jury, a panel of five local people, will give their verdicts. Which side will they think has the stronger case? Coming up on today's show... Food banks, they hand out donations to those in need. But now, as we head out of recession, is it time for them to be scrapped? Our jury will decide. So, pretty controversial subjects, I'm sure you'd agree. Today's jury, five local people with no connection to either of today's stories. Their task is to watch two films, each including experts and opinion makers, with very different and opposing views. They'll listen to the studio discussions of the pros and cons. They'll look at all the grey areas in between before deciding which side they support. Let's meet today's jury. Hello, I'm John Greenwood, Commercial Director. Hello, I'm John McDermott, Professor of Software Engineering. Hi, I'm Abby Dewhurst and I'm a young reporter. Hello, I'm Tom Bliss and I teach at Leeds Metropolitan University. Hello, I'm Mary Donoghue and I work at the University of York. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome to the show. So let's go to the first of today's stories then. Food banks. There are, I'm told, about 400 in operation across the UK. Schools, churches and businesses donate food. Perhaps you do. The food is then handed out to people who've been issued with what's called a food bank voucher. The vouchers are given out by care professionals, people like doctors and social workers. They identify those in need. In the last 12 months, according to the Trussell Trust at least, almost 350,000 people have received food from their food banks. But there are calls for food banks to be scrapped. Some, such as senior York politician Chris Stewart, have claimed that living standards have risen and that with the benefit system the way it is now, no one in the UK is starving. Therefore, he says food banks are being used by people who can't or don't want to budget their income. So in today's society, are food banks vital to stop people going hungry? Or, as the UK turns out of recession, is it time for food banks to close and for those who use them to manage their income better? Here are two films supporting and opposing that view. I'm aware of his comments. I don't think they were recently. I think we're pro probably talking about nine months ago. And I think he retracted them after he made them. Um, although he still um, um, believes that uh, food banks now are a good thing. Um, but he has his own opinions regarding them. Quite frankly, I think it's not just a question of food banks, good or bad. I think it's uh, food banks plus. You know, when people go to food banks, not only should we be helping them with the, with the food potentially, but we should be helping them with advice, and that's a good place to start. It is a quick fix for some people, and there's no doubt some people that go to food banks will just use them as a larder. We need to help people to help themselves. That is, the, that is the bottom line. We don't want anybody starving. And when you look, I don't think there is anybody in this country that is starving exactly. Um, but nevertheless, that we need to help people to help themselves. What we should be doing is creating the opportunities for these people to get out of the situation that they find themselves in. You know, if we make it so that people get the, you know, enough benefits to live on and that we're providing food through food banks, etc., then what, what incentive is there um, for them to get out of that spiral? That's where I'm coming from, and we need to provide the incentive to get them out of the spiral. So here at the Gateway Centre, we are part of the Trussell Trust, which is a national network of food banks, and they've got over 400 food banks in the country now. They were set up to help people through an emergency crisis. We found that uh, the majority of the reasons why people have come are uh, because of benefit delays or a change in benefits. Um, and secondly, low income, a lot of people who are, who are working um, but some, and living on the breadline, but something happens, which means for a period of time they're struggling. 
We had one lady who had uh, who had two children who came to the food bank um, because she was she was working but on very very low income um, and struggling to make ends meet and often was not eating meals herself in order to feed her children and, and prioritising them over herself. So we work on a referral system which means that trained professionals are referring clients to us who, who know their needs. There's lots of things that the Trussell Trust put in place to stop people being reliant on the food bank. Um, so they can only come three times in six months, which means it is just that um, cover for that amount of time until they get some support in supporting the issues that are going on behind it. And on average, we found that people come to the food bank 1.5 times. So often we see people once and then they don't need to use the food bank again because that crisis has been averted. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen, the arguments for and against food banks. Should they be closed in the UK in 2014? Let's get to some views from the audience. I want to start actually with a very basic question. Has anybody here donated to a food bank? Anybody prepared to admit to donating to a food bank? Okay, madam, you were shaking your head. May I ask you why not? Why Have you chosen consciously not to or have you just not got round to it? Um, it's something that's never crossed my mind. Um, the, you haven't, it hasn't crossed your mind, this, the, this, the state of poverty that is supposedly reported across the country and it hasn't crossed your mind. Has there never been anybody outside a supermarket asking you to donate? No, not that I've seen. So, well, you've never, are you aware of the food bank issue? Um, I wasn't, no. You, okay, so that's interesting, you're actually unaware of something that the Trust and Trust say is absolutely vital in today's society. There's nobody in the room today who's donated to a food bank. Madam, you have, okay. Um, why? because I feel it's something I can do to make a difference to those who are really struggling. And I think the way the economy is currently, at the moment, we understand it's, 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 it's climbing up. But when you've got rising utilities bills and you're living on a very, very tight budget, uh, you don't want your gas or your electric cut off. You know, you, you've got mm. to pay those. I think those are first essentials. And I think people see their food shopping as a way that they can cut down. And maybe some people are cutting back and cutting back until they can't cut back anymore. Or they're abusing the benefit system and they're spending it all on alcohol and cigarettes and not feeding their children. That's one of the arguments that's made, isn't it? Well, that's I fair? choose to see the better side of human nature. That's very admirable. But do you think there's anything in it? I mean, if, if somebody is presented with a benefit every week or every month and, mm. they, and they choose to spend it ill-advisedly, mm. that's their choice, isn't it? We shouldn't be bailing them out by donating money to food banks? Well, we shouldn't. I think it's a decision that individuals have to make. Um, if you walk past somebody on the street begging, do you give them money? If, I mean, these are people who are not going to beg, are they? These are people who are in the background um, and largely unseen. Okay. okay. Well, the lady behind problem. you didn't know about food banks. You donated. Anybody consciously chooses not to donate? I would, I would rather not. As in, I know they're there. People ask me to give food and I have consciously said, no, I don't think the food banks are a good idea. Nobody at all. Sir? I, I don't necessarily think we have to look at the individual to donate, the members of the public to donate. I mean, you look at all these, all the supermarkets, they're just throwing food away. Can they not, can they not donate their food to the food banks? They probably would love to, but if there was somebody to eat it after the best buy, sell by, use by date, they'd probably end up with a legal case against them, wouldn't but they? But there's, the, there's a shop, there's, there's some cheap shops that are starting to appear where there's the, these entrepreneurs that are actually taking food from supermarkets and they're selling them at a discounted rate to, to people on low income. And they're, they're, you know, they're really successful, you know, if, if, if these supermarkets were, were giving their food to the food banks, then it wouldn't be much of an issue. I mean, assuming the issue is, oh, well, you know, why do we have to give them our food and whatever if they're not, if they're not spending their benefits? Well, let's, let's give it Let me on the you, backs of the corporation. Do you, in principle, agree there is a case for food banks? Some yeah, would argue that actually we don't... Well, you see, you say, of course, some say there isn't actually a case for them, and what was the, the council described them as a larder for people who just want to sponge off the state? Well, if there's an excess of food, which there is, not necessarily from individual members of the public buying too much food, but there is an excess of, of food production, a lot of food goes to waste, then it, in my opinion, it might as well go somewhere. True. Uh, you were nodding, lady behind. <laughs> 
I'm actually the project manager of York Food Bank. Yeah, I recognise. Um, <laughs> and um, just what you were saying about people spending money on alcohol and cigarettes and using the benefits in that way rather than on food, we actually see less than 4% of people have some kind of addiction that comes to the food bank. And uh, we have more work in poverty than people actually on mm. benefits. So a lot of people that we see that are coming are working and actually choosing to work and be on less money than they would be than if they were on benefits, but are on 16 hour contracts or zero hour contracts. Let um, me ask you this, how long does it take for somebody to come to a food bank or to go and see somebody to get the voucher? I mean, uh, yeah. you know, because I would imagine there's a lot of pride and dignity involved and people uh, don't necessarily much. want to. How far does it, how desperate do they get before they come to you? Very, very much so. So we work with um, over 80 agencies across the city. Um, so it's fairly accessible if you are in need. So we, we cover kind of support workers, GPs, that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, their, their needs are kind of assessed and um, we work very closely with those agencies. So these are people who, um, for whatever reason, have hit some kind of crisis, whether mm. it's a, an unexpected bill that's come in or if you're living on the bread line and are literally getting by day to day and your freezer breaks down or something like that yeah. and you literally don't have the money for it, it's those kind of people. So who the, are, the perception who then us. that it's people going back again and again and again for free cans of beans is probably unfair. Very unfair, yeah, because the way the Trussell Trust works in particular, um, people can't do that. They, the voucher system means that they can only come three times in six months. And it does mean that there's a support network um, helping people through the issues behind that crisis um, as well as, yeah. Okay. Uh, anybody of the opinion that those who are using food banks are letting the state help where they may be in a position to do more themselves? I, 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 not larder, perhaps that's a, that's perhaps a too much of a phrase, but um, is it too easy, do you think, perhaps, to get food banks? So just, just curious, I'm just sure what your thought might be. If, if somebody is using a food bank, um, are we making it too easy for them? Perhaps they should be looking to get a job or looking to improve their, their budgeting. Does it, does it make it too easy for somebody? I don't think so. I think um, ideally there shouldn't be a need for food banks, but there obviously is, and, and professionals are re referring people to food banks. And, you know, I think it's perfectly, the, it's the right thing to do, and I'll, I'll support it. But the council observed in the film that actually we don't just need to give them food necessarily, we need to, to help them, you know, how better to budget, how, how to should cook economically. Who, but who should do it? Should it be the charity? Should it be the food bank? Should it be the churches? Or should it be the state? I think it's a mixture of all of those. I have to support people. I do. I think it's, uh, you know... But isn't it if difficult? Hungry, if local if authorities hungry, have had their budget slashed, they can't provide the support and the services they need, can they? Because the, the people and the resources aren't there anymore. But for, there is a need. There's a, obviously a need for food banks, and they're expanding. So, you know, people should uh, find some money. People should find some money. If only I could just find some money. Perhaps there should be someone under the bed. At the moment, it's volunteers, and it's people who are making donations. You know, I think there should be more more help for people. Just before we can, before you vote, this lady on the front row was keen to make a point. Yeah. What was it you wanted I just to say? Think it, it's such a shame that people are thinking of scrapping things like that in today's society. I think it's shocking. Okay, well, maybe that gives us a clue as to how you might vote. But we've heard both sides of the argument, so um, members of the audience must now vote. But before you do that, uh, because we don't want their vote to influence the people's jury vote. I'm going to ask members of the people's jury please now just to swivel your chairs and turn around so you can't see how our audience votes. Turn your backs please. Now they can't see. Audience using your cards. The decision is a straightforward one. If you had to make a choice, should food banks be closed? Green for yes, red for no. If you could vote now please. I'm not going to influence the decision of the people's jury by telling you that's a fairly universal decision. That's what our audience think. OK, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Put, you. put your cards down. So that's what our studio audience think. But it's not their decision, of course. People's jury, turn back now, please. They've put their cards down. You won't be able to see. You've heard the case for and against. You've seen the films. You've heard the studio discussion. You've got your voting cards. So let's find out. Is it time for food banks to be closed in the UK. People's Jury, what's your verdict? Juror number one, how vote you? Juror number two, what's your decision? Juror number three. And juror number four. And your vote number five? 
that's interesting. So we have uh, a majority for no, they shouldn't be closed, but only by one. Um, juror number five, why do you think food banks should be closed? I can tell you now that the entire audience voted no. It was absolutely unanimous. I didn't see a green card, and yet I see a green card for you. Why do you think in 2014 we should be closing food banks? Because as it was stated by the first speaker in the, uh, in the film, I don't believe there should be a need for um, any food Oh, I banks. would agree with that wholeheartedly. There shouldn't yes. be a need for it, but if there is a need, should um, they not be provided for? I believe that people should be able to, fend, uh, not fend for themselves, but be able to choose for themselves. And as the lady at the food bank, the manager there said, they're only allowed to go three times in six months. So what real benefit is that giving to those people? Well, as she said, as she said, if the freezer breaks down, it tides you over that short term crisis, doesn't it? But there's lots of fresh food you can buy quite cheaply without needing to dip into the freezer. Okay. Uh, so how would you respond to that? Because you voted no. Um, I think it's a very good point. Uh, it's all about a matter of timing. The question was whether they should be shut this year. And uh, I think that's much too soon. There are some fundamental things that need to be changed before we think about closing. For, it, for example, give me what well, needs there, to happen before you there, vote There are two yes. things we need to do. We need to reconnect people with that. The whole food system is broken, in my opinion. Um, the way that we currently produce food, it's not sustainable in terms of climate change. And it's also, there's a huge amount of waste about a third of the food that we produced yeah. is wasted, and that waste is actually the third largest emitter of carbon. So if it was a country, it would be the third after uh, USA and China. Uh, the second thing that needs to change is the benefit system is also broken because the economy is broken. And we, what we need to do is to get rid of benefits, any kind of means testing whatsoever, and have a universal citizen's income, which would do away with the need for this. Good luck getting that through. <laughs> We're working on it. Well done. Uh, let's just come to this end, sir. Once again, you voted fairly resoundingly no. You, I didn't make any... I, did, I think it wasn't... didn't take your heartbeat to decide, really, did no, it? No, it didn't, um, it didn't. But the lady makes some good points, you know, why they should be, why not? I, I, again, I think it is, it is about timing. I think at the moment, these are emergency crisis centres and the emergency is still on. We're not far enough out of recession yet to, to take these away just yet. And we're probably two years away from that, in my opinion. OK. Appreciate that. So, jury, you have decided that if you were in charge, food banks would not be closed. I'd like to thank the five members of our People's Jury who have given us their time. I'd like to thank also the experts and the opinion makers and, of course, our studio audience who have given us uh, some very strongly held views and I appreciate their taking part. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time for more People's Jury.